In 1945, right after World War II, there was a family in a small German town, a daughter and a mom, they lost their dad during the war, but the mom was still devoted to serving as a volunteer in the local hospital to assist the wounded soldiers, Every day, after school, the little girl would go visit her mom at the hospital. One day, she passed by a private garden, which the door was open on that day. The girl saw so many beautiful flowers in the garden, she couldn't help herself and picked up one. She thought, my mom must be so happy to have this flower, for it has so beautiful color and lovely shape. When the girl arrived at the hospital, in the garden, she saw a mom pushing a wheelchair, a little girl was sitting in the wheelchair, looking so pale and fragile, when the sick girl saw the girl passing by, with a beautiful flower in hand, she widened her eyes, and whispered, Oh, God, it's such a beautiful flower, I wish I could have one. The girl heard the whispering, she struggled for a while, she really wanted to give the flower to her mom, but her conscience told her, the sick girl might need the flower more. So she decided to give the flower to the sick girl, and go back to that garden and pick up another flower for her mom. When the sick girl received the beautiful flower, she couldn't believe it, she was so happy, an exciting blush appeared on her face. After the young girl left to get another flower for her mom, the sick girl was holding the flower and enjoying the beauty of the flower, she saw a man with bandages on his right hand, sit on a bench looking so sad. The sick girl asked her mom to push her to the man, and asked him. Sir, why you look so sad? The man sighed heavily, and said. The doctor said, to save my life, they have to remove my right palm, but I had to make living using my right hand, if it's removed, I don't know how I can continue my life. The sick girl put her hand on the man's wounded hand and said. Sir, the doctor said, I am very sick, I might have very little time on this world, but my mom told me, if there is hope, there will be a miracle, so, I always live with hope, you should too. After saying that, the sick girl passed the flower to the man, and said. I like this flower a lot, it's so beautiful, I see hope in it, but now I want to give it to you, because you might need it more, sir. Looked at the flower, the man's eyes full of tears, he said. Thank you, my little angel, it does make me feel better. The sick girl nodded, and left with a happy smile on her face. A while after the sick girl left, there was a woman came to the wounded man with a wheelchair, she said to the man. Okay, Mr. Lutterman, you should go back to your bed and prepare for your surgery, don't worry, I am sure you are in good hands and you will gain your full recovery. The man looked up at the woman, he said. Thank you, Mrs. Muller, you are always so tender to me, I am sorry, I had vented my anger on you when the doctors told me they have to remove my right palm. And the man picked up the flower the sick girl gave to him and said. Mrs. Muller, your good heart is as beautiful as this flower, I want you to have it, as a gift. And he put the flower on the woman's ear. A while later, the young girl came back to the hospital empty-handed, when she walked back to that garden, the doors were closed, she was not able to get a flower for her mom, she looked a bit down. In the corridor of the hospital she met her mom, she was surprised to see, the flower she picked up was on her mom's ear. She was so happy and told her mom the story of the flower. Her mom patted her head and said. See, Mia, what goes around, comes around, this is the biggest reward for being a caring soul. Remove your discrimination. Be kind to others. You will be treated the same.